winners talking. It's only right. right. It's only right. Fam. Get it how you live, my brother. Get it how you live. You Get understand? Team, you know what I'm saying? Man's living good, so why not? You know, <laughs> yeah. it's an expression of how good you're feeling, how you is, how you're looking. Come you know, on, man. Time. So shout out, my bro, Doug, stuff for, for coming with the. You know, no, no, big man up. Man's come, <laughs> man's come correct. Got the guns out and got that. the guns out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Look white tee, little shorts and that. So yeah, we're in this winners talking podcast. Yeah, another one. So what can we say now to start with? Um, this week's been kind of a busy week for the man. Them. Oh, I went to the other week. I went to the Hennessy thing. Mm-hmm. Hennessy um, NBA launch. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the plug over there. They hit man up last minute saying to come over there. Mm-hmm. I have to big up because there's a time when they wouldn't let man into them kind of things. Mm-hmm. You know? They're yeah. too afraid of, you know, the reputation would proceed and they wouldn't let a man in and all mm-hmm. of that kind of stuff. So shout them out. But they're still afraid of man in their own way, not knocking it because they told man no plus ones and all them kind mm-hmm. of thing. And they were specific yeah. on that. So I'm saying they're still, you know, who do they think? They think I'm going to bring Skeng, Skeng Man Sam with me. <laughs> <laughs> or Saturn, you understand what I'm saying? So I see there's a, a little bit of caution there. Mm-hmm. But in there was a niceness. I went there, you know, because it's professional P now, you know. Mm-hmm. It's a yeah, new yeah, day. Man doing, man doing I repped the brand. Things. I repped the brand up properly. I went in there. Mm-hmm. I slid through anyway because it was only um, it was in the Tate Modern, so that's Suffolk. Mm-hmm. So I slid through there neatly. Um, I see. The, I see. Listen, do you know what I saw when I was in that fucking place? Yeah, mm-hmm. I looked around and I said, you know what? The man them are doing good. Yeah. The man them are loving their lives. Yeah. I looked around, I see enough man in there. I see I bucked Harry Panero in there again. Mm-hmm. Um I bucked Jammer in there as well. Mm-hmm. Large up Jammer. I bucked. Shout out JD Dyer from yeah. Sky Sports. Represent this I know black man's living good. Yeah. My nigga was in there in a cowboy hat. <laughs> Pico. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, nah, the man's nah, nah, the man's living his best life. <laughs> That's why I got specifically shouted JD Dyer. Man was in there in the cowboy hat. Yeah, what boots I, and everything. I, I was getting to that. A pea coat, cowboy hat, all coordinated. Mm-hmm. You know, he had the hair back in one. Yeah. Cowboy hat, pea coat, black trousers. Now, in my mind, he was wearing boots. They even had the, the, the spurting at the back, you know, yeah. <laughs> in my mind. Now, he probably did it. He probably did it. But that's like, how it felt. Like, yeah, because yeah. the nigga's living his best. He's living it. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah. spoke, we were chopping up because we chat. So he's yeah. chopping up. He said, yeah, he's going to come on the pod as well. Obviously, we're going to pattern mm-hmm. that, JD. Shout out to you. Like, I looked around. It was a very mixed crowd. Mm-hmm. Like bougie, everything. But mm-hmm. the man then was in there. You get me? Shout out my guy, Novelist, as well. Mm-hmm. Came over, spoke to a man. Me and him was reasoning. Rare tear, tear. Came in that South. Mm-hmm. You know South London, man, have got a, we've got that. Yeah. Something about us a bit about different. A local, a local finesse. Yeah. He's representing that probably. So shout out to my guy, Nov. Yeah. Came over, spoke, said he watches the podcast, big up the man, them, mm-hmm. da, da, da. carries himself well. Enough girl on him, enough hugs and love you to get in mm-hmm. there. I'm, wa- I'm watching you. I'm watching. Shout out to you, man. But anyway, back to JD Day in the, in the cowboy hat and all of that. God, we can't let go of that. We can't let go of that. The nigga was in the cowboy hat. The nigga was in the cowboy hat. Bro. You know life is good if you're... Doug. Bro. I can see you doing something like that when nah, shit's... Nah, nah, not even if I shit's that cowboy, deep. Man. We can't do a cowboy hat. <laughs> nah. We couldn't do that, Doug. Never. Who needs rocking the cowboy hat if he gets that deep? See, Daps, I knew... See, I and really couple man, tea. couple yeah, man. Really knew because tea. what it is... Tea, let me show you what it is. <laughs> now, let me show you what it is with a cowboy hat thing. <laughs> I understood it. Mm-hmm. I understood it immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebration. Mm-hmm. They can't tell me what, nothing. Three-quarter length jacket as well. Three-quarter length. I th- I'll say peacoat. Yeah. The man looked like he was ready to ride into the saloon yeah. and say he's the new bad man in town. Yeah. You know the way there? Yeah, and then take that, over I think, everything. I think that was the statement. Mm-hmm. So shout out my guy, JD yeah. Dyer. Mm-hmm. Big him up. Who else did I buck in there? Um, I've got enough little people. Oh, young Philly. Shout out young Philly. Yeah. He said one thing to me. He gave me one little piece of advice. This is why This is why my ears are open to anyone. Mm-hmm. Older, younger. I, I know young Philly from a long time. We spoke on something private like, Mm-hmm. He said some private stuff to me as far as like the come up and things that he's doing to big him up. But mm-hmm. he gave one piece of advice, which was very good. I won't repeat now. I'll tell you off camera what he said. But yeah, shout out to him as well. They was in there. Enough of them little, you know, it was a nice, it was a niceness. It was a niceness. We would have had to carry you out there. Open Henny bar. <laughs> yeah. Anything you want Henny. Yeah, yeah. Anything you want Henny, bro. Mm-hmm. Cocktails. And you know you're the Henny champion already, so you right. love your Henny, bro. Yeah, that's what I drink, man. That's what I'm saying. So no, yeah. when I say literally, like any cocktails, anything, you, anything you want, Henny was the pattern. Mm-hmm. And then they had that the lobsters coming, lobster dishes coming round, vegan dishes. They were, had them flowing, flowing. And if they come round and they ain't got, one, I'm saying yeah, go and get me three more of them lobster. Man's coming back within four minutes. Mm-hmm. There you go. You said lobster, duh, duh, duh. So mm-hmm. that's how the, that's how the people them's living. Like I said, they don't usually let us in. 
Mm-hmm. But I'll squeeze through now, so I'm sure the next one that's going on, we've got to be mobbing in there, and mm-hmm. like, let me not say too much in case they're watching. Shout out <laughs> Henny as always. Shout out to Henny. For everything yeah, they pattern yeah. up and everything that goes on. But Come yeah, on. that was a little adventure out there still. I slid through for an hour, hour and a half. And just did what I needed to do for the brand. Enough people bigging up the man. Enough people saying big up Doug mm-hmm. all day long. And mm-hmm. the winners talking brand. So yeah, that was a niceness. Um, I did the post this week where I spoke about the baby fathers trying to see your kids and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, you should be making more effort. Touch and mum start hearts. being bitter. And I see a lot, a lot of comments. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't even see. Someone hit me up and was like, your comments are wild. Yeah. So I had to go back and check. And there's a lot of men that are... Um, feel they're in positions where they can't get to see their children. I know that's real anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know man is yeah, in that yeah, position. That's, that's, that's a real situation. Yeah. So at some point, not today, but definitely going to have to mm-hmm. get an episode on that. I, I want to hear more perspective mm-hmm. on it and hear what's going on because a lot of men uh, are feeling a way about that or in that kind of situation. And there was a lot of people giving advice of routes that people should go mm-hmm. and women calling out man on certain things. So mm. we're going to have to touch on that one there at some point. You get mm-hmm. me, big Dougie Doug. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, but anyway, lighten up. Let's talk football. Let's talk football. Mm-hmm. Just momentarily. We ain't got to go too much. I'll let you, man, go first. I saw you, man, pulled off a good win yesterday in the Carabao Cup. Oh, against, Leeds, yeah, come on. Against Leeds. Mm-hmm. Um, a light 2 0. A light 2 0. I saw um, Braggs, Braggs chip the, so, kick the goalkeeper and put it in. That's what I call Eddie because he reminds me of Braggs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, Braggs Boogie. I saw hey, Braggs Braggs Boogie yesterday. Yeah, yeah, big up Braggs. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> shout out Trap Fruit London. Yeah, yeah. So like that's my guy. Way. That's my yeah. guy. And that's, I, Braggs, I call yeah, Braggs. Braggs. I, call, like, <laughs> I say, he reminds me of Braggs when he was younger. Eddie, yeah. Eddie reminds me of yeah. Braggs. Um, yeah, I'm happy. It's a good It's a good time right now. It's a good time, like, look, all, look seeing some potential. Mm. You know what I mean? But what I'm really happy about is how Liverpool mash up Man United. That's what I'm... Um, because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. them United man they needed to get taken down a few pegs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing really going on for them United man anyway in the first place. Them man mm-hmm. then Then it's all... Uh, yeah, they've got all these individual players but they ain't nah. really got the unit like that. You nah, understand? Nah. And the manager's, the manager's not doing it. It's a nah. hot mess over there. It's a car crash. It's a car crash over there, bro. It's a hot mess. Yeah. And for Liverpool, Liverpool look vicious. I said to man last season, it's the injuries. A lot of men weren't really listening to me now, but I feel like Liverpool have come. I think that's given the whole squad and team a chip on their shoulder. Like, these men weren't... They, like, last season, you like, everyone thought it was fun and jokes and banter. There was a little... Ba- Don't act like they were banter last season. <laughs> no, there was definitely banter. Hella banter. banter. Hella, hella, hella banter. banter. But now... Hella banter. Hey, right now, I think Liverpool and Chelsea are looking the strongest. Man City are doing their team, though. But, yeah, yeah. Between the three of them. I still I still say Chelsea would be favourites to me you reckon? over the course of the season. Right. Just because the squad's deeper. Yeah. The only, listen, starting 11, I say Liverpool starting 11 is the squad. Right, injury could change everything. Yeah. Yeah, you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah, to me, yeah, yeah. I look at things like this. If something happens to Trent, yeah, we ain't got... Who we put in? Milner. Yeah, and Milner will do up. a job, but he's going to have to hold a yellow yeah. card. Yeah. Every game. Every game. 100%. All right. All right, that's enough on my team. That's enough on them. So you're say, you're still saying everyone's pick staying the same. Who are you saying for the league? Oh, yeah, definitely Liverpool or Chelsea. Or Man City. Bro, it's a three-horse race. <laughs> You gotta pick one. Huh? I want man to pick one. I want man to pick I've one. I've been saying Chelsea from the jump. Doug, what are you saying? Mm, Liverpool. You're saying Liverpool. Yeah, I'm saying Liverpool. I'm gonna go say Liverpool then. Cause I gotta go with my team. I yeah, gotta go no, I gotta team. say Liverpool. I would say no, Man City. Now nah, the only reason I say with City is that they're they're a striker short. Even though the man that that, that Torres and that is doing mm. the thing. They just mm. like they signed a striker in January. Or if they had got Kane, then I would have said City. Had they got Ronaldo, I would have said City. Mm. No, no, not right now. No, nah. But they're doing their thing. But they did, listen, I can't it's criticize. It's Look at Arsenal, innit? It's out, it's <laughs> you out, know what I'm saying? Out. I can't talk. They're the they're the top three. They're the top three. But for top four, Arsenal definitely coming up in the top six. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I don't for know. Top four. Yeah, that's, that's, that's for top the four. whole statement is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, nah, what I say, I just had to break it down like that. It is what it is. We're coming in there, man. For top four, man's coming in. Top yeah. Four. All right, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. It's wild, it's wild. I don't it's wild. Know. I don't know what's going on. That statement made no sense to me. Right, it's but wild, yeah. What are you saying, protesters? Yeah, the ones that are 
Yeah, what's going on? Aye, uh, what's going on with these bro, protesters? Insulate like, Britain. Britain. Bro. Insulate Britain. But you know what's getting me mad? I'm because I know if that was Black Lives Matter. You on their side? I'm on their side. They're fighting the cause for all of us. Nah, what about the woman that, that went to we remote? The one that's nah. got famous. The, the one that the man them were onto. The one. The... Sherry. Sherry. Man knows that name. Bro, Doug's a champion, you know. Right. Nah, I used to the f- one in the Range Rover. Yeah. You know her? I said, nah, nah, I don't know. No, oh, see, see, see. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. But Doug's just a weird. Uh, Pass the Doug. champagne to that, Doug. Pass the champagne to Doug. Jerry. Doug's database. Uh, I don't know what that is. Let me pass the champagne. I'm just going to be good with names. Listen. See, listen, I'm just, I'm see it pop up on the timeline yeah. a few times. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. They're supporting her still. She's got, she, I see her on the news. Mm-hmm. In the news in other countries, everything. Yeah. And I see the man them getting onto her too. She's put on the, the little post with the leggings and the red bottoms mm-hmm. and all of that. Man them looking at her back and all that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But... I didn't see all of that still. You didn't see that? No. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, don't miss a trick online. <laughs> Doug, don't I miss a trick. I didn't even see thing. all of that. Did you didn't see that? Nah, nah, nah. I think she used to post content. But I never knew about her before. Yeah, nah, I think she used to post content or something still. I understand. I'm but with the protesters anyway. Yeah, why are you with the protesters? Why are you with the protesters? They're doing something that's going to help us all. So not right, it's not selfless because it's, it's selfish. Selfless it's no. selfish. Why is it selfish? You know why it's selfish? Because uh, you're you're doing whatever you feel like you're doing to save the planet, yeah? Mm. But in doing that, you're All ruining that you're ruining a lot of people's lives. Yeah? And why I feel like... Whose lives are they ruining? Well, look at the man that was trying to take his mum to a hospital and she had a stroke in the car. Mm. And then paralyzed herself. I, so I didn't know about that. that. I didn't know. You get about me? That. Like, wait, no, I'm gonna, there's more. There's loads. There's loads. The brother that was going to a job interview. You could tell man's talking about how much hardship he's gone through through lockdown. He's got this job interview now. Mm. Some local driving job. Mm. Missed that opportunity. He lost the job. They told him don't even bother coming in. Mm. You don't know if that's the difference of a man getting money to pay for his family or getting evicted from his yard. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, my thing is all the people that you see sitting out here, I see when they're interviewing it, some retired doctor, retired this, retired that. They ain't got nothing else better to do. They retired, got pension. They're getting their money. They can sit and glue themselves. Is that themselves what all these to... people are, yeah? Yeah, bro. Old, old people retired doing this, gluing themselves to the... But this is the thing. So you you look a cool, you look a nice, you look can glue yourself to the the calls, and then the guy right. that you got leading you. <laughs> you're like, laughing. Like, and and then the wickedest thing is the guy the guy that they got leading them on mm. Good Morning Britain when he walked out. Yeah, he ain't even got insulation in his yard. Mm. You ain't even insulated your yard, but you're talking about insulating Britain. And then and he didn't even know they had that information. So when they chucked that information at him that they knew his house wasn't even insulated, and you're doing all of this, got people wrecking businesses and doing all of this, it it rattled him. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. To the point it rattled him and he walked off the st- he walked off the show, innit? He walked off the set. He wasn't prepared. He wasn't prepared. He wasn't prepared. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like half of the time these people they're not doing it. They're doing it. They've got a cause, yeah, but they're not doing it for the cause. It's selfishness. It's to be able to say that they've they've stopped traffic. They've created this disruption and feel some sort of empowerment off of it because that's what it's about. It's not about because I guarantee and even the police letting it happen. Like, I guarantee if that was Black Lives Matter and we was blocking off roads because of George Floyd and all of that, bruv, they're coming out in riot gear and dragging men off the streets. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's my thing about it. It's not it's not being done from a good place. Do you get what I'm saying? No, no, I, I hear you. Go on, Daps. What's your rebuttal? But that was, what, four or five people. I feel sorry for the woman that had a stroke and all that. What are you saying? The casualties the, of war? Of the, a bigger the world, war? The world's full of nearly eight billion people. And they're trying to protect the eight billion people. From what? And trying to say... The world... Like, from what from? Go out there, you're in the shorts and t-shirt, it's November. Right, it's not normal. It's not, it's it's not normal, global warming, the world's global, flashing up. Global, but this so is the thing. Doing that to so the big, but I, this I is the I'm thing. Like, like, remember, there's more. This is the thing. The list goes on. No, but the list goes on as to what they're doing to people's it's lives. Isn't it? I'm just pulling, I'm just bringing out what this, the little shortfalls, like the little ones. How many, bro, we know if you stop a whole junction or a big motorway or whatever, you don't know if that man's got delivery jobs to do, man's got work, people man, got places to go, Amazon. ambulances. Not, but it's not just Amazon. You've got to think of the bigger picture because that's just narrowing it down to make it look like someone's not getting a parcel. Like, we don't know what's needed. We don't know if someone's got to deliver blood. We don't know if someone's got this to do. We don't know because there's hundreds of cars. That's hundreds of lives. That's hundreds of people got things to do in their life and you've got five people sitting there. Bruv, that, bruv, you know, but, bruv, they're not going to... Listen, there's ways to go about it. They're not going to solve... They're not going to solve... Just them blocking the roads and causing destruction to people's lives ain't going to solve the worldwide 
problem yeah, of well, they go they go China and sit in the road in China, then go America and sit in one of the major yeah, highways. Yeah, you're just mash, you're it. just mashing up London. Like it's, it's obviously a bigger problem, but they are ways about it. But we wouldn't be talking about it now because they glued their hand to the road. If they wrote a letter to the PM, mm. that letter would have got turned into. Bruh, like, like bruh, my you know, thing is, they're not want to talk about climate change. I don't see no one going hard for real issues that, like, matter. When it was Black Lives yeah, Matter and doing like Climate change, if it's real, is a real issue. Still. Yeah, it's a real it's issue, issue, but I don't, bruh. But I know what you're, I know you know where you're, I'm you know going, you're going yeah, from, yeah, but it's a slight... Because yeah. it, it, it. I swear to God, man, man, man hold me up in traffic and my mum get paralysed from that. I'm writing off everything on that road. I don't give a fuck about no climate change. I ain't going to live here long enough to see when the fucking meteorite comes yeah. down and lick up the place. Selfish, I'm, not selfish. Selfish. No, I'm not sad and selfish. No, I'm not sad and selfish. No, I'm not sad and selfish. Yeah. So why you here? Bro, if man care about climate, why am man out there with them then? Who, me? No, I'm not saying you because you're not saying that you're... That's why you with them. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If it's hot in winter, that's cool because it's normally cold around these times. That's why I can walk around in my shorts. So I can't give a fuck. Like, be real, I can't. <laughs> because real life issues, why am I going to worry about insulation and climate change when certain times some of these people ain't even paying their fucking bills? They ain't even got the money. They're talking about how much billions it's going to cost. They The budget that they've even put to fucking insulate England, yeah, ain't even going to cover 90,000 homes. How many homes do we... Bruv, I've listened to this shit, you know, so I'm not even talking from a place... That's why I'm letting you... Like, I'm not talking from a place of just like, I'm... Mm -hmm. No, I've listened to it. The, the budget that they've put ain't even enough to insulate 90 thousand homes yeah then they're talking about everyone changing their boilers to these heat these glow heat things yeah, yeah, yeah. then cool. but then half of the time the poor people ain't even going to be they're saying they're going to give five thousand pounds to every household to change their boiler yeah mm -hmm. But the installation costs and the whole boiler is going to come to like 11 bags. Like people ain't even got the six grand to add to that. Mm -hmm. So what are we what are we really doing here? Do you get what I'm saying? Like we're fighting a losing battle when the technology and everything ain't even up to speed for it's cheap enough for the average person to be able to afford to get up to speed. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? But you're saying the same thing. They need to do more. And that's all their people are streaming. And when we can't get basic necessities like water, then they'll bruv, start bruv, saying there's a problem. Bruv, we can't even feed the children at the minute. The government don't even want to feed kids, so mm -hmm. fuck that. If they don't even feed kids and kids are dying because of hunger, how, there ain't going to be no one here to live when the place is fucking 90 degrees in December. It don't matter. No one ain't going to be fucking here, is it? Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though, innit? Like, you know what I'm saying, innit? Like, it, Shout out, Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Manscaped. <laughs> You know, I forgot to bring your pass, so I'm gonna bring it for you. I'll link up with you. It's cool, man. My um, shave is doing well right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Manscaped. <laughs> Use the code winners. Use the code winners, get 20% discount mm -hmm. and free shipping. Use the code winners. Yeah? Yeah. Um, th they dropped off a, 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 a weed whacker, which is like like in, um, nose hair and ears hair, if you've got that kind of stuff going on. Mm. Trimmer and some, and a, and a, um, <laughs> and a aftershave. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Manscaped Cologne. So all of that's on there if you're in a bit. Mm -hmm. Manscaped.com, cold winners, 20% discount, free shipping. I had to ease up the, 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 the debate there. Man, then was going in. But it's good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. You, yeah. you sound, you're coming from it from a place of knowledge because you know certain things and from a place of ignorance at the same time, which is a great bit balance to have, Doug. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know about it, you know. But fuck, that ain't going to be... Like, yeah. like, it's a good balance. Bro. It's a good balance. That's a good balance. Fuck said, them insulate yeah, fuck the insulate eat. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. We just have to hope they don't end up coming to a head. And Bro, I just hope they don't come on, south. Go on, They're very dedicated people. They're old. I've seen them in the park today when I was jogging. It looked like they were preparing for something this week. But this is what I'm saying. They're all old people that can sit in the road. They ain't got no... Man, they're they're... Of the grandkids and the great-grandkids. Bro, they're not, man. They're not. That's how... My, my personal opinion, I don't think... I think they're selfish. I honestly do think they're selfish. <laughs> Like, it's not so. Hey T, my man's gonna ring you when he's outside, yeah. He's got your number. I honestly do think it's selfish, but that's my own personal opinion. Oh no, no, that's your opinion. Oh sorry, fam. That's your opinion. What about the Fed that got crushed by the other Fed? That... Listen, she should have moved out the way. <laughs> that's not. Doug's one today, you know. Doug's. No, no, I'm joking. No, but, no, he coming hot though. Whoever it was he driving, they hot. came in hella hot. hot. Pelvis mash out. He must have been on his phone. He weren't looking in front of him. No, Something went right. I saw that like, this is going back to the George Floyd thing. Is when see when like where the case went to court, you can mm. see the cameras in it. Mm. So like, them man operating bare things in the car. A lot of machinery, yeah. Mm. So he could have been operating a madness in the car while he's driving. Might not have been his phone, 
He was operating Saturn and, yeah, and, and late and hard. broke way too late. Broke way too late. Way too coming late. in too hot and thing. coming in. Yeah, she's gonna crushed be, up the thing. I man say she's gonna get a good payout. Oh, she's retiring. She's retiring. She's yeah, not, unless she loves being a police. She, she, she probably does. Mm-hmm. She does. Unless she loves Ooh. being a police, she's retiring. Yeah, getting a fat stack, or she'll get the fat stack and work a little office. Yeah, police thing. Yeah, but you know. Look cool. It is Look cool what behind it is. the scenes works. It is what it is. So yeah, yeah that was pray a, for her. That was a viral moment still, so it is what it is. These yeah. things happen, you understand? Unfortunately, it's part of life. Mm-hmm. You know? Maybe in a few years she'll be gluing herself to the mm-hmm. to the roadside with the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> on that retirement on bread. The retirement <laughs> <laughs> on, that, on that retirement P. Yeah, back in. There. Big guest in the building again, you know. Mm, Big guest. Mm. Come on, people, then. Come ready. on, come on. <laughs> ready, ready. Come on. We've got the liquor on deck. Liquor always, on deck. Always, always pouring up. Without yeah, doubt. Come on. So, yeah, we've got man like Dean White in the building. Trust me. Large up every time. Come on, as well, for having you know. guys, man. You're ready. No, no, no come on. From we spoke. When we spoke last time, we was on the Zoom call with Pro V's. R.I.P. to Pro V's. R.I.P. my brother. I couldn't believe it, blood. Bro, I couldn't believe it's, it's it. Dev- yeah, he passed, man. I couldn't believe he's got his, it. His, his funeral thing's Friday, so I'm going to make mm-hmm. time and fly past that. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm going to do something at my little event for him. And I've do- documented the work me and him has done over the years. And yeah. I made them make some little clips. I'm going to mm-hmm. dedicate that to him because he was a proper humble brother, Very good humble, guy. Good guy. And um, he was a boxing man, you know, that boxing was him. Proof. And he generated, you know, good relationships with everyone. Mm-hmm. Small, big no matter what, through the boxing scene. So mm-hmm. uh, it was just devastating news. I couldn't believe it. I was with him the day before. It was mad. Mm. At the AJ... Mm. Yeah, yeah, the, at the weigh-in. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 it's mad. At the press, no, the, the press conference, it was the next day, I was looking for him at the weigh-in. And I was like, where's, where's Pro B's? That's a bit mad. Yeah. And then I heard later, I was just, I was kind of shocked. I still yeah. am, because he was such a good guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, rest yeah. in power to Pro B's. Trust me. But yeah, that's the last time it was reason. I said to you then, I said, we're going to have to get you on the podcast. Then yeah. times they were just kind of starting up. Yeah, I remember. But no, I always had it in the mind, because I said to you, <coughs> i got things going on, yeah. but I'd rather come on and not just talk about the things, what was just the little stuff I'm doing. I wanted to have some good, yeah, good yeah. things well, like to talk happens. about and positive yeah. stuff yeah, yeah, to talk yeah, about, yeah. which also makes sense. So we could talk about all those other stuff, but something that needs to be done for diversity, mm-hmm. for the culture, for man's people to be, you know, in a position to be mm-hmm. big players in the sport of boxing. Yeah. Because yeah. right now, we're not really players, we're participants. Yeah. We're just like the chess pieces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The man them out the backs, they're, they're, they're the they're the pawns that make things go. Mm-hmm. So, you know, man's in this power play. Yeah, and, uh, I see you, bro. I see you. Come bro, the, come up's been, the come up's been good as well, bro. You yeah, put in work. It, listen, I don't, listen, mm-hmm. I, I, if this man's always with me everywhere. Yeah. Travel the world with this man here. Mm-hmm. Obviously, my dog is always there as well. But this man travel the world with the boxing team. So he's a young boxer, come on and, you know, he's working with me. But he sees me, bro, I just hardly get any rest. But there's time for rest when you're, you're gone and dead. You know what I mean? I've got legacy for build. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. I've done my apprenticeship. There's still a lot to do. Mm-hmm. And there's and the, and the weird thing about it is like, um, I don't want to go too kind of mad with the thing, but this is called the British Boxing Board mm-hmm. of Control. Yeah. Yeah, so we understand what it is. There's not a lot of black people. There's not a lot of brown people mm-hmm. in the scene. So it's a hard scene to break through. Mm-hmm. So there's guys that came before me. Mm-hmm. You know, my brother Spencer Ferrum, big no, the knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Knowledge has been already set exactly. right. Yeah. Mickey yeah. Mooney. And Ambrose Mendy, those guys were the ones that set the platform before yeah, me. Ambrose Mendy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the old school name. And they had a hard time. Yeah. Um, so I made it, lucky I went through the media side first, mm-hmm. built the fan base, built the love with the fans and the people, mm-hmm. and then come back around this way. So I think, mm-hmm. you know, the eyes, I've got the, the traction side first, yeah, yeah. and then I've come with this. So I think it's made it, I made good friends. So the friends that are there now are backing me, and whispering in some of these other man's ears to say, yeah. he's one of the good ones. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. one of us. Yeah. Give him a little squeeze. Yeah, 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 Cause yeah. I'm li- I am could I could tell you this, this whole week in the last few weeks, just saying, you know what? I was saying, I'm gonna do promoting. I'm gonna yeah, yeah, do yeah. this. Yeah. When I was saying, I was just saying that, but I wanted to. Yeah. Not knowing how actual difficult it was mm. to yeah. get through that door. Mm. Do you understand? And now going through the door, there was medical obstacles and blockages and rare this and that. Mm-hmm. And it's only car, the whisperer, the big man I got at the back there. He's like, I'll just stay in the back, but I'll just tell the right people. And it's slowly 
They're coming to me and embracing me. Yeah. Give me hug and saying, the big man's, don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna make sure your thing does good. We like what you're gonna do and yeah. grassroots boxing, the urban culture. You know the ones, yeah. <laughs> they'll get the urban culture because they're going to see jerk chicken and rice and feet oh, yeah. that <laughs> well, they, You don't really see that boxing uh, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got lobster, pre order get yeah. it lobster. Yeah. So all them things, is probably a bit different. The music, mm. the vibe is what man bring. Yeah. It's not about just only black and brown. It's just the cosmopolitanness of London and the UK that we're going to captivate and trying to bring and show them man's energy. Because mm. when you go to America and you see the vibes that show the music, mm. even the... The man, them, the white guys and other people from different cultures, you see the way they're bubbling and they know yeah. the tunes because they've grown up in a certain culture. Yeah. Over here, some of them man there, they've got all air things in their ears. What's all that racket about? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know they don't say? understand it. There's a yeah. big cultural divide. Yeah. Uh-huh. For those that don't know, though, Dean, tell us something about, about what you're doing because we know. But yeah, yeah. Apologies. So um, I do boxing management, That's right. mm-hmm. coaching, Mm-hmm. And now I'm just uh, going on to promotion. I'm doing my first promotion next Saturday, mm-hmm. November the 6th, Tollworth, Surbiton. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, you know, I've got seven fights matched by the board today. Amen, oh, man, trust me. Do you know, yeah, yeah. that is, let me tell you something, yeah? That has been a fight because, you see, because of COVID, mm, yeah. um, it's, all the journeymen are kind of like gone and got jobs because they couldn't fight. Mm, so yeah. now to get fights matched has been a near... Mm. It's a near miracle. Yeah. So we couldn't get fights match. So I've had to, because I've got a good relationship with many people all in different countries. So mm. I just reached out to everything I could get. Um, managed to get a guy and he was just like, he was just, he liked the conversation mm-hmm. about diversity, a, 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 a black guy. And he wanted to help, you know, push the thing. Mm. So, um, and he understands because he's had a lot of struggle in the same arena. Yeah. So he's like, no, I understand exactly what you're going through. So it's kind of mad that, we put stuff to the board. A lot of the fights got rejected, mm, yeah. and there was a bit, bare, you know, fencing back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, it was just kind of it was hard and it was stressed because there were times we thought fights were matched, and then they were unmatched. Then we swung them around, <laughs> and then but to, one thing I'm true. I'm a grafter. I always anticipate other things. So yeah, I done already because I planned it so long. I already I listened to all these man talk. And I say, yeah, I say you go. You know, like, so I've already preempted stuff. Yeah, like yeah. when they're talking about um, fighters and hotels, I booked about six hotel rooms when they were like 30 pound a night. Yeah, because yeah. I heard them saying, oh, we had to pay 200 pound a night a couple of days before it's me. I said, go, me, I'll pay that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I booked the rooms yeah. way out and I got them mad cheap and I just paid them and I done the, you know, like three days out if you, you can yeah, cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, and then on top of when they were telling me things about, the ambulance, the doctors. I just went and booked them, paid, boom. Yeah. Everything they were saying, I went on no keke and no bag of nothing, I just done them. Yeah. And then when the man was coming to me, they're like, oh, you're not up to date, you haven't done this, you haven't done that. I said, all of that's booked and done, Bridget. What about your ring? I said, booked. Yeah. And I said, I- I've done, listen, whatever you think, trust me, I've done. If you mention it, the minute I come off the phone, I'm doing it. Yeah, because yeah. I'm not on no job. I'm, I'm a very serious cat when it comes to this business. Yeah. And I know what's at stake. There's a lot of people waiting for the fool. Yeah. Kind of even whispering in certain people's ears. He thinks this is an easy job, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, said, yeah, yeah. You sure yeah, this is gonna happen? Yeah, so they it's like a, yeah. they're looking because remember, there's, like I said, there's 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 Paul Webb. Big up Paul. He's from Luton. He's a black brother trying to do his thing. And Pat Barrett, bad man Pat Barrett, who's gonna thump Tunde yeah, in his yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was smoky. <laughs> Manchester Gooch side man, you know Tunde is my dog. Though. Man can't thump Tunde yeah. in his face. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Um, yeah. Love it, you know that thing, that press that conference was well. wavy, man. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the waviest ones I've seen in that minute. Like, yeah. yeah, that captivated the audience, hey, man. Listen. No matter what, they might be pissed. That took yeah. they might feel yeah. away, but that just moved up the sales. And yeah. is it a pay per view fight? I don't know. Don't just pay. Don't think either way, more eyes. But eyes are eyes. No, trust me, eyes eyes it took a long time, and he's like, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, tell me, tell me in my face. You're gone, guy. You know that's that was mad. That thing, but. Basically, like, yeah, Pat Barrett, he's up there doing promotion stage. But they're, like, they're known, but in terms of, like, media-wise and boxing fans, um, a lot more known than those guys. Mm-hmm. So in terms of the traction, obviously, because of coming from, like, podcasts, media, interviews, mm-hmm. yeah. these people just look at me like, oh, it's Dillian's brother. Mm-hmm. He ain't got a clue what he's doing. You know, like, yeah, yeah, but what, not, yeah, not knowing that I've been studying That's this thing for a long time yeah. and I've been watching. 
I travel the world mm. and, and, and educate myself on things. Mm. I talk to many different people over a very long duration. And unbeknownst to me, it was probably something I was doing without my even knowledge. I was going to say that, mm-hmm. you know, because to me, it's like, you're the example of what I say of like, you know, like when there's man them and someone's doing something and, and we'll say, oh, if your bridging's doing something, you should be looking for a way to create your own thing yeah, 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 inside, yeah, yeah. make your yeah, own yeah, lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, thing. you're the epitome of that, really. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Car, I've watched what you, like, you've carved something for yourself. You're not relying and saying, yeah, yeah, no, yeah I'm waiting. My thing is his thing. Yeah, yeah. that's what, I, what it is. What I wanted to do first mm. and foremost was with Dill, we came up, we done our thing. Mm. You know, we, we had a look of, uh, the, the White Brothers, mm. Klitschko Brothers, same kind of thing. Mm. I didn't box. I managed to slip into the media lane, obviously, can articulate myself, mm-hmm. can have a conversation. So it became endearing. People said, ah. Oh. Then I had the Save the Plane incident when yeah. National yeah. Hero mm-hmm. saved yeah. Taylor. National Hero, you know that? Beer things yeah, in the pre- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that yeah, that 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 I'm not saving the world. Three times, champion of the world, you know? Come on, Avenger thing, man, save the world. Carry on, superhero. Yeah, so basically that kind of pushed me up in the thing and then the Akoli thing was another thing. Yeah. The way I dealt with that, I think. that where Baby Thing come from? No, Baby Thing came from, so that was the Baby Thing was big, you know? No, Baby Thing was That was that crossed over. No, that one was the originator of everything because yeah. mm. I was doing the interview before but then after that because what happened I think Chisora threw the table and then he's that's like oh baby. your brother something something I said bro that's some baby thing why you throw the fucking table for yeah. and then he was coming close I put down my drink I said big man mm. mine from a roughly like a pretzel fam I'm not here I'm not here trying I'm not here fisty custom that's not my thing I'll throw punches to make you block I'm trying to take you down bro that's what I'm there fam I'm not in all that I'm trying to get you out of here bro that guy I'm not gonna lie that guy, Cesaro, is one tough son of a bitch. Yeah. Me say we yeah. him and Dylan fight I do. Yeah. You know why I fight that man there? <laughs> I was just trying yeah. elbow knee, trying to get him out of there. I'm not my yeah. thing is I come from MMA, kickboxing, yeah. and box. I've got good hands, mind you. But yeah. what I'm saying, I know he's tough, so I'm not gonna damage my good good hand them. Yeah. Let's see how good good my hand them is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we're looking, yeah. you're gonna mash up your hands, so I'm gonna elbow yeah, knee I'm and try and get him out of there. I'm on but like he's a he's a tough chap, so you know, that's where baby thing. Yeah, so that's where that originated from, and then <laughs> other stuff started to develop later on. And then I looked at it when I was talking to people when they was talking about Lennox Lewis, Audley Harrison, mm. and those kind of people. Um, I was just listening to what they were saying, mm-hmm. and then I was thinking when all of when Lennox retired, the whole of his team done and dead. Mm. Nothing happened. Yeah, I was like, mm. <laughs> no, no, sir. Let me work on something yeah, yeah, for myself. Yeah. So I separated myself. It was gonna. It was always gonna be a longer and harder road yeah. because obviously I'm just by myself. Obviously we was working and doing a management together, but because I wanted to be in control and because the guys in the team was kind of dictating and doing stuff, and I didn't really feel the way it was being run. So I yeah, said, "Yo, yeah. brother, yo, what? I'm gonna move over here and do my team." Mm. And it's cool. Dude was a bit upset because he's like, bro, we're meant to be doing this thing together. Mm. It's better. I said, it is meant to be better, but it's not just us, bro. You got them two man there yeah, that's chatting, doing certain yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're your guys and they're patterning you. It's, it's, it's all good, look. Yeah, it's all love. Same. You know what I mean? We're going to vise. We're, we're bros. That's what it is. For you know that. what I mean? I'm going to back your team. You're going to back me. Yeah. Whatever. I'm just going to gossip and I'm just going to go on that way and come around. Because yeah, 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 yeah. now we'll link back around this. And it's coming that way mm-hmm. where, and it's but, mad. Like when I went, um, I don't know if you was there, I went Vegas. And that's when I kind of knew how big this thing was. Mm. So when I went to Vegas and I got into, what's that hotel? The main hotel in Vegas where the fights are. MGM Grand. MGM yeah, Grand. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. See, when I walked in there, I swear oh, you would have thought it was Joshua Dill. Be a media running. Oh, Dean White, goddamn. Bare people, bro. It was yeah. about 50, 60 people, 10 cameras surrounding me. <laughs> hey, can we get a picture, man? Dean White, man, we love your stuff, man. You and Dilly. Bro, it was mad. I was like, yeah. bro, this thing's. How's this? America, mad like oh, this. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. had some big viral moments, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 but I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, but when you're in it, I know yeah. what you're saying. When you're in it, you don't know. Yeah. You don't yeah, know, but you got to Hopping see. in the ring in the age. Yeah, as well. I, well. I was going to ask you about that. The joke, I was going to ask you about that. I say, right, what's going to Listen, listen, listen. No more. I wanted to ask you about it. You're talking about end of the round one. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you about that. That goes off, that moment. Because that was a, that 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 fight there is legendary for the man. Iconic. One sec, one sec, one sec. I need your attention just for a moment. Listen, did you not know that you can go university even if you don't have GCSEs or A-levels? You can go two days a week, study, 
and get support from the government between 9,000 to 17,000 a year. You don't have to have GCSEs or A-levels, I repeat, yeah? Go to ukplatinumservices.com. Use the referral code POUNDS, P-O-U-N-D-S, and they'll pattern it all up for you. Let's get some more bods in uni, yeah? Just because they tell you, oh, you didn't pass your GCSEs, you didn't get A-levels, da-da-da. No, you can still go and study. Two days a week, you can be there studying. You can be studying fashion, media, music, business, social care, so many courses. Let's get to it. UKPlatinumServices.com. Use the referral pounds to get everything fast tracked. Get you that VIP treatment. Pounds. P O U N D S as the referral. UKPlatinumServices.com. Now that's going off. It starts to go a bit, you know, to the left. You're in there. What are you thinking as it goes on? Are you still, are you thinking, let's keep this? It's, it's, this is a big, big stage. Did you lose your head or was you in there focused? Like, no, I was ready for a scrap to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's because that's what man them do. I, so. I knew it. I, knew I, see, it. I, trying to... I see you, Leon, all of them, yeah, yeah, man. I, I say, right, them I don't think just... them man don't even know what was about to go on. Them, yeah, yeah, so they don't yeah, even yeah. think they no, no. grasp what kind of man them. <laughs> you know, I, I, so you see, Leon. Boy, Which Leon? Come on, kickboxer. Kickboxer Leon. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I know Leon's Leon from ends. Deep well deep in, deep you know? Tight, tight shirt and his leather jacket. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Brother, he's he dangerous. Your face, fam. Yes, from fam. early, from long Leon time. Is, and, he, and he's fast and he's powerful. My dog, he phoned me last night late. But Leon, big up Leon, man. Leon, got Leon, man, Leon to His hands is sharp, rude boy. Mm. He would have gave them the real karate one, two, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Twenty-time world champion or something. Yeah, he's not a joke. Years, man. listen. Years, from, bro. He's not a joke, day, that yeah. guy, fam. From early doors. In his tight pants, he's kicking out man's chin high. Yeah, man. yeah, high. What the f- I'm telling you, fam. Relaxed as well. Yeah. With it. So, yeah, me, Leon, and the man, it was gonna get mad for them. I had my glasses and I put my thing in like that. The pussy all them slow down the thing going like oh, yeah. God, fam. <laughs> Nasty guys, bad image. So I started off on the wrong foot from there, but it's all good. Bad publicity, good publicity, yeah. adverse. Do. It doesn't matter. Oh, we learn. Kinda, you learn it from It kind of gives you, you a little it. platform. Yeah. So all of these things accumulating, um, the training and and just being a businessman as well, because I've been doing business from the, the get, you know, mm-hmm. like properties and mm-hmm. landlord. I don't know. Some of the men call me slumlord, but hey, that's yeah. another thing. But <laughs> I mean, I've been in the game, long yeah, time property yeah. game, and many other business. I've probably done nearly everything you can think of. And a passion and the zest I have for boxing mm. and the love I have for boxing, I feel like makes me want to do great and mm-hmm. make sure I can push on and do. So this show, what I've got, I put a lot, a lot of effort in. I've, say, I've, say again where the show is in the dates. The, the show, November the 6th, Tolworth, Surbiton. Mm-hmm. Uh, where that's can, next where Saturday. Can get tickets and stuff. Uh, they tickets. can get them if they look on my uh, Instagram. Mm-hmm. There's a link in the bio to buy them there. Mm-hmm. They can DM me, kind of hit up the fighters or whatever. Mm-hmm. If they look on my uh, Dean White Instagram or Black Box Global, they'll see yeah. um, information there, how to just yeah. DM yeah. and kind of hit man up. But like I said, we've, we've done good. We've got good ticket sellers on there. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a very, very different kind of atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Hopefully the board will accept and embrace man's culture and see that man's kind of different. And I said it to yeah. them and they was like, okay, you know, we're looking forward to see yeah. what you're going to be doing. And hopefully it ain't going to be, you know what I mean? But obviously I've got a lot, a lot of support from the people around in boxing, people buying tickets and coming to support the yeah. first event. Um, I've got, I put, a, I put in a great production. I feel like for the first show, as long, it is a lot to put together, but the production, what I've got, I think these guys are going to be mad surprised right, how friendly. I pulled this off and what I've done yeah. with man's own money. Mm. So it's yeah. going to be like, they're going to be like, wow, how has this guy done this with mm. uh-huh. what money? You know, like, so what would he do with TV money? Yeah. If we gave him a budget and mm. sat and worked with him, he'll be able to do something crazy. Yeah. Um, but like I said, we've, we've done a team. We've got a few VIP tables, we've got a nice little VIP area mm. and the rest is seating standing. But I'm expecting a, a good, a good, yeah. good amount of people because boxing needs guys, it, fam. Yeah, exactly. Right, it needs that because unless it's the big top fighters fighting and it's a name brand, you think it needs that light shone on the the the, the, the upper the coming, the grassroots of it because it's you can see most probably in terms of those those events and those cards, they're struggling to get the numbers, they're struggling to do it. So you know there's a lane for what you're doing right now because you do your thing and then. They're saying, "Wow, my man's doing his thing, and he's bringing the crowd. He's getting, you know what I'm saying? And you right, think right. these are like up and coming fighters? Right. This ain't no big name. What it is with boxing a lot as well? Yeah, 
you're only gonna get the shine if you're a ticket seller when it comes to the promoters. See it there. A lot of there's some big boxes yeah, that yeah, get yeah. overlooked because they might not sell tickets like yeah. you know already in it, young so, so you know if you're shutting down the yeah, thing, the more promoters putting on shows, the better. And and man like these, you're plugged in. You're in that. You're you're amongst the community. You know what's mm. going on. You know that the the guy that might not sell a bag of tickets, but he can box his ass off. You understand? He's a, yeah. he's a hell of a fighter, as Floyd would say all the time. So <laughs> you know the one. So yeah, it's more opportunities for them. Yeah, yeah. Because because them them promoters is I've dealt with that because I've got the MMA gyms and that so yeah. it, they just deal with it's who's selling tickets all the man that's selling tickets will get yeah. certain fights because he sells tickets mm-hmm. his path will get kind of navigated or something yeah. we, yeah. we know the game yeah. you yeah. understand yeah. we know the game same yeah. with boxing you understand so we know the game but yeah, yeah. that's great that, that, it's going to be surprising on. I feel like it's going to do well and it's like yeah. it's going to open a lot of eyes and it's going to be a new lane because it need, the game needs it no, it needs that breath of fresh air and it needs that injection of something different and, and you're plugged bit. in you're plugged in you're, you're, you're someone like you're like someone in the seat you're someone yeah, in the no, scene no, we, we, so that's an angle works, within itself it's hard to make the recognition but like you're saying this is more for grassroots boxing mm-hmm. this is more for the diversity of black and brown people yes mm-hmm. the cosmopolitanness of just the uk because there's guys White guys, that's with Mandem. There's, mm-hmm. you know, like all yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Bro, mixed up. Like, every batch yeah. now, you like got, it's it's got yeah. a couple of white men in it. This uh, we don't really move, sir. We don't move, sir. Yeah, again, yeah, it's yeah, diverse. Yeah. People, yeah. it's a class thing more than it's a race thing uh, when uh, we that, move. Uh, like. that's the, I think that's mm. the, there's that word there. Mm. But what we want is more than anything is these boys to have a great platform because not everyone gets a chance to fight to, on Matchroom mm-hmm. or Frank Warren. That's and when right. they do go on ma- a Matchroom, they're not prepared. A lot of these guys because they haven't been on a great platform. So. I'm going to give them a platform which is going to be try and be as equal, yeah. especially in visual. Hopefully, in crowd, the excitement. Yeah. Um, and we're going to try and do. We're going to play the the music. We're going to play our own music. Yeah, bash yeah, and just yeah. give that vibe. Yeah, but yeah. then we'll have the screens, the monitors where they have that same effect when they go on match room. So when yeah. they do get to the, the big, big stages, yeah. they're prepared because some of them aren't, aren't unprepared because they're not active enough. They're not fighting enough. Mm-hmm. And then when they go on the big mm-hmm. stage, they they freeze up. You, you so, feel like the event is too big for them. Yeah, exactly. Right? So they yeah, freeze. Yeah. You know what I mean? So rabbit in the headlight kind of mm-hmm. thing. So, you know, that's what I'm going to try and do. And then we try and go global because mm-hmm. Black Box Global. So we're going to try and do stuff abroad yeah. in America. We've got good links, like I said, around the world. So I'm talking to people out there. Mm-hmm. After the show, maybe the end of November, we're going to fly out to America, mm-hmm. go to, um, I think we'll go to maybe the Gamboa Lopez fight or Devin Haney fight in mm-hmm. the Vegas. And then I've got a girl. Oh yeah, shout out to her. Uh, Tamira Brown, she's fighting in Tijuana Friday. Mm-hmm. I sorted that out. So she's fighting. Shout out to Mira Brown. Yeah, yeah to Mira Brown. She's she's a she's badass man. She's ten and 0, seven knockouts man. Yeah. She's a she's a, she's a problem. Yeah. She gonna she gonna be fighting for a world title soon. So I got her fighting on Friday in Tijuana, Mexico. Mm-hmm. Then she's fighting December the eighth in uh, Texas. So I'm gonna go there for that. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Mm-hmm. So I'm just working tirelessly, getting going to bed late, waking up early. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Getting up, thinking about. Um, tables and gate and yeah. matchmaking and Rough. not gonna lie, I can't wait till it's over because then I can relax. What I'm gonna <laughs> next time? I love it, <laughs> but I want to know is I can't. I'm obsessed for it to be great, I'm so I, I'm not resting. I'm not getting enough sleep and stuff. But then what I will do is I'm building a nice team, so when the next event comes, I'll have all the links and I, I, because I've done it myself, I'll know everything. Mm-hmm. This is my first show, so when people are telling me pricing and costing and things. I would already know because yeah, I'm yeah, going to give them yeah. all the links. I'm going to say, do this, do this, yeah, contact you can delegate this. delegate now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I could just take a lot of the weight off. I can train the boys mm-hmm. um, and just relax and do other shit, management, coach duty. Mm-hmm. But even that, some of that's going to get tied up because I'm only one man. I'm doing many different roles. Yeah. You know, I'm still a dad. You know what I mean? I still got to yeah. go and do that and mm-hmm. have a shit. I've got young mm-hmm. kids. So mm-hmm. Come on. But more than anything, I just want to grow and our thing for growth. So mm-hmm. we, we people have got stuff. Us man them from where we are, and then I can bring on my brothers who want to get into management where they're not getting an opportunity because the bigger platforms don't put they don't really work with a lot of black managers yeah. who have got mm-hmm. fire. So man might come and say, you know, I'm gonna go into management, mm-hmm. say nothing, get your fire, boom, we sign him, put him on my promotion. Yeah. Cut through, you get me? Mm-hmm. Where the man ain't getting that opportunity. Mm-hmm. So we'll bring more black brothers into management, we'll bring more black brothers into the promotion side, mm-hmm. and we'll start to elevate this yeah. thing where mm-hmm. they're gonna have to respect man, they're gonna yeah. see what man's doing. One way or the other, they can love or hate, but eventually the respect yeah, will be yeah. due by the yeah. work ethic I put in, and it will not be Normal. denied. Like, not be denied. Trust straight me. in. Or yeah, no. Champers. Realist talk. Realist, <laughs> talk. Realist <laughs> talk. Realist talk. Realist. Yeah. Right. Moving on from that, because that was 
I, there ain't nothing more to say on that. You just covered that right on official. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask you a couple of things that was going on with boxing because you know you, you're a boxing aficionado and all of that. Now you know, come on. What we said. Right, firstly, Dillian. They're yeah. trying to say he pulled out the fight because he knows he's he's going straight to. He's cutting truth. Look, he's smiling. He's going straight. You know that's coming. So what? <laughs> so what we said. I, I got that coming. instant. I got the man there. I got, I got the man next there. I got the man. I got the man next to the man now. What, go on, talk to us. What you say? Man, you say that one man pulled up to me in traffic and he was like, Dean White, oh, what's happening, mate? How you doing? What's going on with Dylan? Lovely move. I said, <laughs> <laughs> What kind of move? Yeah. I said, Well, he deserves his shot. I don't know if he's injured or not. Yeah. I said, You know, white yeah. man, mad. Mm, I was like, Yeah, yeah man, him injured, man, I'm sure that. Sure, if I hear yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it is what it is. It is what yeah. I'm saying, you know, he's got he's got to go through the motions. He's got to do a bit of physio. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't know the extent of the Come injury on. just yet. We can't but take any risks with moving that. Moving forward mm. in the new year, of the match. Yeah, yeah. 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 because. Wallin, I know he's upset because it was a big payday for him. Mm. And he was a dangerous guy because he's a southpaw anyway. Yeah. He's always going to be dangerous. But Wallin now is upset because obviously this is his golden moment. This was his world title opportunity to yeah. gate crash the party, to try and yeah. unheld and mm. get the win over Dillian White and become mandatory mm -hmm. and fight for world title. And I get it. But he wasn't mandatory for anything. Mm. He was in the top 15 or something like that. So yeah. Dylan has no designs. He doesn't have to fight him. Mm. There's no, he's talking to the it's WBC. Really a, it's, like, it's really a keep fit fight. Really. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's saying I'm going to campaign to the WBC to try to yeah, I read all of get that, it but reinstated, but no, no. there's no He might, he might as well move like, on. Yeah, no, there's no well, I, I feel like also, like where Dylan's been like, on the, he's been managing for been managed so for long. how many years? Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's been yeah, a long time. It's been a few years. Listen, like, see the thing, deserves it. See the thing with Dylan, I always say when I watch Dylan, yeah, I say, they didn't want to fight him because they know no matter what, mm -hmm. it's a Wind hard night's job. work. Bro, you, bro. The man's coming to bring man, No matter who, <laughs> he's, that's a, he's that's going a hard there. He's, he's, he's taking that's you a, there. That's a hard paycheck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Win, lose or draw, they're all going to know they've been in one rotted fight. Yeah, exactly. They're all going to, and that's why I think man used to look at it and think, nah, there's, it's, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. And, and you know what? Even watching that last fight, the Fury fight and Dente, I feel like, like, Dylan's got more of a chin than Dante. So it's like he, in that kind of fight where they were slugging it out and they're both dropping, my man stays in that fight. Do you get what I'm saying? Whereas Dante mm. got dropped and maybe got counted out and whatever. Dylan stays in that no, fight. Do you know do you what, what the, I'm saying? How so, I look at this fight, we got to give Tyson Fury credit. Hell of a fighter. Yeah. Top dog right now, running things. I'm not even taking... I've, I've, I've always been a fan of his. For a man as Same. big as he him, mm -hmm. as big as he is the to fight and box eh? and do yeah, what he yeah, does, yeah, yeah, it's just un unimaginable. I don't even understand how he can... You know, it's explaining what he does. Well, bro. What mm. he does. But I feel fit. like if he tries to trade with Dillian, he's going to play into Dillian's hands because yeah. that's Dillian's game. He's mm. very good in the pocket. He's very good at catching and counting. He's very good at punching to the body and short punching. Mm -hmm. But Tyson Fury, if he if he boxes and moves, it's gonna be a long night for Dill. But one mm. thing, like I said, Dill is prepared to take lick, to <laughs> give lick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. and and if if I'm saying he's taking them body shots, but he hasn't taken. Man like Dillian's body shot. Yeah. And what Dill would do, Dill would do rough and rugged and try and throw him out the ring and do some yeah. horrible things where he might change the game plan and make him fight. Mm, yeah. But like I said, since he's been with, um, he's changed to, what's Emmanuel Stewart's nephew's name again? Oh, uh, Sugar Hill. Sugar, Sugar Hill. Hill, yeah. He's become a different fighter. But yeah. to be honest, it's not much different. What he's done is he just starts to come forward. And because he's a big lump, when he's licking you, it's a lot of weight he's licking you with. Yeah. Before, if you notice, he used to box on the back foot. Yeah, yeah. Touch, so he's touch. taking away a piece now of power. Now he's, he's boxed. Mm. He, yeah, he's, bo he's taking away his own power because he's that's only right. touching that's what on I the mean. back. Yeah. When he comes forward now, you I'm, can't move him anyway because he's a big old lump. Yeah, yeah. So, so he, when he's digging power. you, he, you can f it's, it's that 24 stone or whatever mm. he's digging you with. Yeah. So he, he's changed up. He's not just become a punch overnight, but he's sitting on his punches a bit yeah. more mm, and he's doing right. shit. But he's a dangerous, dangerous customer as they come. Yeah. But you know, if you know, I think it will just be a great fight mm -hmm. for as long as it lasts. But there's going to be some licks and pain and whatever. Mm. And um, you know, like I said, I think yeah. Dillian's the man to give him a real run for his money. Yeah, because Dillian's going to in everything, push his, even in, down to the press, even yeah, down to the builder. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, down yeah. to the builder cup. Yeah, he ain't backing up. Did you see um, AJ's interview he did yesterday? Have you seen it? I saw a bit of it, man. He's he talking bad this for. He said he's <laughs> <laughs> AJ's moving strange in that. AJ started talking about. No more humble. What do you say? I ain't watched it. Yeah, I'm not watching it. I heard he said something. Man. No more staying humble. Yeah, 
But he started giving away his game plan. He shouldn't have done that though. Yeah, he gave away. He, said yeah, he gave away he the whole said, game plan. Yeah, he spoke a bit he too gave much. Away I the whole game plan. The emotions got the better mm. of him. He yeah. started saying, "I'm gonna push down on him." Mm. Those are things. Yeah, you said. He, a, I you think said a he lot. should have been doing. Yeah, but, but you you're not meant to give your game plan because now they've got evidence to this, and mm -hmm. someone's gonna send this. Oh, look, watch this interview. AJ mm -hmm. was saying this. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna go. Oh, so then I do. You know, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you should have just patterned up, chill, and gone in there and done the same thing. But I think that's what he needs to do. He needs to be tying up the arm. Using the forearm, pushing mm. on his choke, mm. pushing his head way over the ropes and thumping with the free hand mm. yeah. and just everything. doing bare smoke, thumping hip, mm. yeah. thumping every, just trying to slow down that mo motion and thump yeah. up, dead up the legs. Like Chisora did what, what Chisora was doing to him. Chisora and like if Dillian fights Usyk, there's people that make harder fights for them guys. Mm -hmm. Usyk gave, and um, Chisora gave Usyk a hell of a run. Yeah, Dill yeah. Would, yeah, facts. It'd be a madness, trust yeah, me. Yeah, he's yeah. too small because when Dill get hold of him, trust me, mm. Dill yeah. gonna bend and brock and he's gonna be doing mm. something. He gonna be he not he's gonna be talking to the ref saying, Hey, what's his and Dill's gonna be <laughs> rass cut licking him, same way yeah, we're looking that yeah, way. Yeah, Cause yeah, AJ yeah. was kinda like, Yeah, all it's right, too nice, isn't it? yeah, it's too nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that Usyk is a hell of a problem, bro. But I mean a hell of a hell of a mm. problem. Yeah. That could have ended even worse for AJ, but I felt AJ done really good. I felt like he could have been a bit more aggressive, mm. but in, his, in terms of his boxing, for a big guy to move mm. and do the stuff he did, I think he done pretty good. And to get out of there without getting knocked out, because my man was waiting to set him up. When AJ mm. la um, um, loaded up with that right, which he didn't, yeah. mm. because my man was waiting mm. to, for him to load up with the right, and slip Can't and counter with that left. Mm. And that left would have been a total train crash because he would have leaned straight into it and got himself, skid out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's me, fam. Skid out, skid out, skid out, skid out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And AJ didn't want to hear, no, nothing to do with Tweety Pie and Tweety Bird. He weren't interested in none of that. He weren't interested in none of that. He weren't interested in none of that. You know, Tweety Pie, oh, come. He's not even. All right, if, if Dillian, oh, well, you're going to say Dillian and all of them, right? Don't say Dillian. AJ and Wilder fight, who wins? Good fight. Good fight. I tell you, the difference with that fight is AJ's sharper. I feel both of them got good jabs. I think, see after the, what I saw from Dante Wilder, mm. credit goes out to that man. Yeah. Um, a lot more respect for him. Mm. As a fighter, he's got balls, he's got guts. You know, we talked about, yeah. you know, over the years, everyone's questioned the mm. people he's faced, the, the, the fighters, the taxi drivers, he's full. Mm -hmm. um, and he's always said, listen, I'm in it. I'm a game guy, I've got heart, I've got mm -hmm. balls. Mm -hmm. And he talks about his culture and the black power, the mm -hmm. empowerment yeah, yeah, of his yeah, black yeah. people. And he showed it, he put it all on the line. So, yeah. and I've always been a fan anyway, yeah. but it's just what it is, it's just rivalry. Mm -hmm. So um, I was still respect him because you got to beat who's in front of you. Irrespective of people say, oh, he beat this shit guy. He still beat them and he yeah. knocked them all out. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So we always have to give him credit. Yeah, That fight is a hell of a fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jonte Wilder is seriously in the mix of this serious business, because when he's licking, man, you know, right. I don't even know where that big old lummox, that, 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 that guy that's got one rass clout, head uh, ties. I watched something thing the other day, some video that broke down his punch and his whole stat, like his whole movement in it, yeah? And why he generates so much power. And they say this brother like hits like a madness. Do you get what I'm saying, man? See it, it's though. because of the way he sets up his punches. No, because he, he kind of- delivered a right. Yeah, so he kind of like, jumps wow, into so, them yeah, and punches Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like said what, that, yeah it's yeah. like he's throwing a baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, how I describe yeah, that's it. Like, yeah, that's a, and mm. that's what they were it saying. It's a bit basically. telegraph, man. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you can see that, yeah. That's it's, why Fury manages to ride them a little yeah. bit, you know, yeah, like yeah. rise them. Yeah, he's, he's got great eyes. He's got great eyes. He's good at movement. Yeah, when I say great eyes, I mean like- Yeah, like he sees it coming, he can do it. Whereas AJ, I don't know if AJ's, AJ kind of stands so in the much. way of that and he, you know yeah, what I mean? His head movement isn't the greatest. He's not really a head movement. Yeah. He's come with that. I think he's skin out. Mm. <laughs> but if, yeah. if, if AJ hits him, I think it's a similar situation. Yeah. yeah. And, and and I think AJ will do better with an orthodox fighter mm. than, than a southpaw. Yeah. Because AJ's going to give another man, he won't be so tentative and mm. he's thinking a lot more because of the southpaw angle. Mm -hmm. And Usyk, cut some different angles and shapes. So he was, he was punching from different angles. And, and being bounced. a southpaw is tricky. Yeah. So, but I think, you know, AJ fighting an orthodox guy, it's gonna be different. Now I'm hearing him saying, he was talking about the sweet science of boxing. And then he started talking about, I'm done with this and done with humble. I'm gonna be in there, I'm gonna do this and this. So it looks like maybe he's going back to the old AJ. They used to try and go out there and get them out. But that's probably wrong as well because he's more open to get countered possibly yeah. because this AJ was shutting up shop and it's harder to beat because he jabbed, moved mm. and held and done his thing. Mm. Now when he's opened up, any if, if if you're good enough, 
and you're relaxed enough to catch and counter him, Andy he's Ruiz. open because he doesn't really yeah. take his head off the line. Because nah. yeah. so, mm, that's, you know he I mean? so, that's how he held the Andy Ruiz bang. Because mm. them man there that Cause he counted his catch, shots catch and, and counter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. So it's a, it's a dangerous situation, but I don't know. They, they were questioning his hunger and desire. I feel he's still got something in him. Mm. I see him tra travelling and trekking around the world, Mexico, America. Yeah, I mean, a man, Where a am man. I look for? But yeah. <laughs> 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 Dillian V A J two, who that's wins? A, that's a great fire. I'm okay. going to go with my bro. You I, mean, I can't say that. Yeah, that's what you want me to say. All, both guys have advanced and developed a lot. Yeah. Mm. That fight before, they were young men and they were just coming into their peak of, you know, that was the making of Dillian. That was the outing of Joshua somewhat, but he was the poster boy and golden boy. Mm -hmm. But that's what made Dillian. Um, but for me, Dillian's probably got one of the most uh, best boxing brains um, for me in boxing. Obviously, Tyson Fury's one, but yes. Dillian's boxing is underestimated mm -hmm. and... His skill set is crazy. Mm -hmm. You see that when you watch AJ fight, AJ arcs is in the corner. What should I do now? Mm -hmm. You will never hear that from Dill. Yeah. Because his brain is already working. He will take the information and the data from his corner and he will go and apply and break down that data and see where it can be applied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. AJ sometimes gets a bit lost yeah. in what he's doing in the ring. And then he goes, oh, I'm trying to do this, but what do you think I should do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think maybe, he's, see with AJ, and I kind of saw that in the interview today, he, he might be too moulded. You know the ones where like, like yeah, he's yeah, following yeah, everything yeah, to yeah, a yeah, T. Yeah. Like he right. said, because he said in the interview today, they're like, was the game plan wrong? He's like, you have to ask my coaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to ask my coaches. Yeah, that's like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Even, he's following instruction. So yourself, when my man's in the coach is saying, brilliant AJ, brilliant, he's just believing him all yeah, the way. Yeah, you're like, you're in the fight. Yeah, yeah. You've got to make decisions. See, like sometimes you watch Mayweather and his dad's having to ask him, are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my man's already, he's listening, yeah, yeah. but he's already, but he's then, already pro but then you have taking in his own data and working out his when you watch Mayweather and his dad and them in the corner and they're like, you're the best baby. Like they're not even telling him anything. They're just him That's about ego and confidence to get that mindset. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Many times. That's so it it's kind of a bit of a, mm. a double-edged sword, but AJ should have his own brain to understand boxing and what I need to do. When it gets difficult, I am the one in there fighting, not the coaches. Mm. You listen to the coaches, but the coaches are there to top up your assurance on if you're doing things right. Mm. Maybe circle to the left or circle to the right or mm. drop down a little bit. You're too mm. on the line. Let's, you know what I mean? Mm. Do this, slip off a little bit off the line, mm -hmm. circle this way, watch out mm. for the right, circle that, you know what I mean? Mm. All right, circle that way, watch out for that, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm not sure, they're meant to top you up and they can't be there to tell you to throw every punch. I say that to my fighters when I'm training, sometimes it's annoying, it's like, brother, I have to tell you every shot to throw, it don't mean a shot. I'm seeing a million and one shots you lot can throw, mm. yeah. but it's like I've got to tell you, but then when I tell you, the opportunity is gone. Because yeah, yeah. if I say, oh, throw this to the body, and come upstairs to the top. Mm. The man that's heard it, they cut. They're like, ain't gonna get me with that sunshine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, see it there, you know, like, yeah. so for AJ, I feel like he needs to, I heard him saying the sweet science, he's learned it, that's wonderful, he's done a good job. Yeah. But I feel like he needs to understand the rougher side of the game and understand the short shots. Mm. You know, um, the old school man, and when they shot, shoot their shots a bit shorter, because these men, uh, they're all their shots. If you look at his pad work, he does a lot of long, which is lovely. I love, I'm definitely mm. good, I have good job, I move, I like the long stuff. Yeah. But when you are close, you need to know, mm. catch, boom, boom, mm. and it mm. all shoot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Short yeah. shots, because those shots are going to catch the people, especially if they open up, because they're going to do them big hooks where it's going to come here. You can catch them and just go, bop, bop, and fire back. Deal's good at that kind of stuff as well. Yeah. He understands if they're close, he knows, you know, short shots and cut. If you do them too big, you're gonna, yeah. They're gonna go around the back of the guy's head because they're pretty close to you. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So man got yeah, yeah. even the fighters were doing it today, they were swinging some big old meat cleavers. Yeah. I said, brother, who you ever hit with that? You went way past the man's head. Come yeah. on, my guy. Yeah. Understand Short the distance. Out. You gotta understand distance control yeah. and where the man is if he's too far, if he's close. Mm. You gotta understand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I tell you what AJ didn't get was the distance control in there, and he didn't understand that Usyk When example, U AJ would move in one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then he didn't see Usyk moving in a half. Then he'd move out one, and then Usyk would move in again. Mm. But then that means he's right on his ass to counter. Yeah. A lot of the time, if you jab and you move in one, you should move out one and then a half. You're still in kind of a decent range, yeah. so you can control what's going on. Because the man moves in one, you're still half a little way. So if he counters, he's gonna overstretch. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. And I think that was the problem in there a lot of the time. AJ was not understanding the distance control. Yeah. But my man's a master at distance control. Yeah, yeah he's had so many So times. he was yeah. 
He was right there to count everything. Any little mistake AJ made, he was on his ass for you, mm. boy. Yeah. Straight in. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's that's the, the problem, though. You're not getting a bit. That was a great breakdown. I'm not gonna lie. Big up for coming true. I'm glad we'll do it again anyway. Yeah, yeah the doors it, open. Man. You know, like that. We'll yeah. do it again. Love what you men are doing. Keep Come it up. On, we, it's all hand in hand. The whole of the things what we're all doing. Yeah. Okay. It's hand in hand. Yeah, and kind of cutting through and yeah, you know yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you're always yeah. welcome on the platform. Yeah, we're build, on, we're building our own, we're building our own things. That nice, you understand business, what I'm saying? Man. And it's exactly, good. and it's great business. Mm -hmm. You know, one hand wash the other, and we're we're pushing each other's thing forward. So yeah, yeah. jump on people, them check that out. Go and if you can get down to support Dean's um event, come on. That's say the date again one more time, Dean. November the sixth, Surbiton. Doors open four thirty. First fight five thirty. Come on, we got about Try seven eight fights. Down there. Yeah. We got lobster. Jerk chicken, everything, everything, ready, 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 ready. Tunes busting, and <laughs> if, if ready, it's not gonna be a normal. We've got some, yeah. got some dancers gonna Afro beats dancers gonna go on and get yeah. them to no. everything. You yeah. get me? We're gonna, we're gonna have a spice it up a little bit. We're doing something yeah. different. Yeah. So what it's for is if even if you don't like boxing, if mm -hmm. you want a good night out, you can come and you'll have yeah. a good get night down out. there. You're yeah. gonna have, yeah. a, and, and that's so, what's about. We're gonna have the punch machines as well. So you big old lovers, everything. If you try, come down. Come on, come on. Shake nine hundred right there. Shake nine hundred right there. I'm tired I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, boom. Another episode. Shout out the man that be the building still. Big up all the man behind the Come scenes. Come on, man. Yeah, you understand another one. We're just talking podcast. We're done. Scrap. Bye.